Look to stay mostly dry, but there are a few very light showers just kind of peppered across the region at the moment. Live look at our SRP Park Cam. You can see we have the Marine birthday celebration going on. They're having a great time out there tonight, and you can see right here they're actually getting ready for the Walk for Water event that will be happening at SRP Park tomorrow morning. So beautiful weather out there right now. We're currently at 65 degrees, so not overly cold, not too warm out there, just really comfortable to be outside and generally just cloudy conditions at the moment. This afternoon got pretty warm though 78 degrees. That was our warmest high temp we've seen since last Friday, believe it or not, where we actually dig it up to 78. It's been mostly uh, cooler than average, though, through most days this work week. So we are starting our warming trend and likely going to continue that warming trend into tomorrow. So highs back into the mid to upper 70s for our Saturday. By Sunday, more seasonal, most likely staying in the upper 60s. Both days we should see a good bit of sunshine, maybe a few passing clouds at times, but nice and dry for any weekend plans. To despite a cold front moving in. So this is what's bringing us the opportunity maybe for a stray shower this evening and to tonight, but this will be clear of us by the time we get to daybreak Saturday. A closer look at home, you can still uh, you can still see there are a few very light showers forming across Warren and McDuffie County, so hopefully not impacting that big game in the brickyard tonight, but just keep in mind there's going to be that opportunity maybe for a stray shower around through tonight. We're, we are expecting to clear out our skies, so by the time we get to around sunrise Saturday, so so temperatures early in the morning will be in the 50s. We'll end the afternoon in the 70s and looking at great weather really across the region out there tomorrow afternoon. You can watch the Georgia game tomorrow on WRDW and that's going to be a 330 kick against the Volunteers. Also Clemson plays at 330 against North Carolina. And then we have night games for Georgia Tech and the Gamecocks there in Columbia. Nice weather for all those games in the 60s and 50s later into tomorrow night. Once we get into Sunday, temperatures will start to feel a little bit cooler for us. Not quite as warm. We should stay in the 60s for high Sunday as we just see a few passing clouds at times. Great bird watching forecast tomorrow. If you're going to be watching the bird feeder right around sunrise, which is 702 tomorrow morning, temps will be in the 50s. We should see generally clear skies the first part of the day. And by tomorrow afternoon, for that sunset at 524. We should still be seeing temperatures near 70 degrees. Lake forecast not too bad, not overly breezy out there the next couple of afternoons, staying generally less than 10 miles an hour out of the north Saturday, then northeast on Sunday, and those temperatures look very comfortable up at Clark's Hill. Here's our seven day forecast. As I mentioned earlier, there is some more rain moving in early next week, so rain looks likely Tuesday. Luckily, it does clear out just in time for Thanksgiving. Riley, thanks a lot. Watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is